Hi everybody, Patrick here from PaintballProps.com, EngineeringShock.com, and ElectronicLessons.com. I bought one of these Tangram props uh, the other day, and I, uh, I only bought one. And I, I just basically to play with, see if I wanted to stock them, use them in my own escape room props. Uh, if you're interested in escape room props, check us out at PaintballProps.com. Uh, and this is an electromagnet with bracket. Obviously nothing's going on with it right now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how this works just so you get something educational out of this video. When the t all of the pieces are in the right orientation, such as, such as it is right now, uh, the electromagnetic lock opens when powered up. And now, you have to make sure it's in the right orientation. What you'll notice is there's actually a, a line showing you where the first piece goes. And the reason for that is uh, if you made a square this way or this way with this uh, starting down here or here or here, then it wouldn't work. And the reason for that is each one of these pieces has a little magnet in it. And under the board, you can't see them, but under the board there are little reed switches, magnetic reed switches that open or close depending on the reed switch when uh, it detects uh, magnetism. So each of these blocks has its own little magnet in it. So when those magnets all line up, with its relative reed switches under the board, again, which we can't see because there's a, uh, a wood cover, then the microcontroller in the board uh, controls, uh, basically uh, disconnects power to the electromagnet, meaning the cabinet will open, or whatever you're trying, you know, the safe will open. It, you know, you can make these work however you want, but this specific module has a, a very, uh, this module has a very specific function. It's programmed to, uh, when you power it up and the Tangram pieces are not in there, or at least one's missing, power to the electromagnet is, uh, is, is applied. So as soon as you power it up, this, is, this, is, uh, this bracket is fastened to the electromagnet. You can't break it off. And uh, once you put all the Tangram pieces in the proper orientation, the uh, power to the electromagnetic lock is broken and you can open up the cabinet or whatever. And uh, um, once you do that, you can't reset the module, unfortunately. I think it's a bit of a drawback of this unit, but I mean, I think it's pretty inconsequential. You simply, all you have to do is unplug and plug power back in. But on a game per game basis, that's not a big deal. Uh, I've seen these made, uh, custom made before. They're very expensive. Uh, this one's actually quite nice. I'm, I'm quite impressed with the, uh, the quality of it. Um, what you'll notice is, there is a uh, single uh, indicator right here showing why that this uh, blue triangle has to go in that specific spot. And I'll talk to, about, talk to you about that in the next uh, part when we actually do a demonstration. But before we do that, I wanted just to quickly show you uh, what all comes with it. This wire is connected to, I'm just trying to make things not too messy here, a control box which has two wires that connect, I'm using alligator pins here, to the uh, electromagnet. It's very, very simple. Just two wires that are um, stripped. So the insulation is, maybe I can just show you. As you can see, I'm using uh, uh, alligator clips to connect to my electromagnet. And from this control box, there is a female power connector. This unit also comes with a 12 volt, two amp adapter. You simply make that connection and plug it in. Now let's look at a demonstration. So as a quick example, I haven't plugged it in yet. Magnet's not attached. Uh, I've just left a few pieces in so I don't have to remember the combination. Uh, I'm going to plug in power and Mr. Electromagnet is doing its job. So now I'm going to place the rest of the pieces in as I know they go. And uh, now once it's in, it was designed so there's a bit of slack here so that you don't have to force anything in. If, uh, just to remove this one more time, nothing. I can't reset it. I have to unplug power and plug it back in. Uh, if, if you place this in, and it, this and the electromagnet doesn't uh, doesn't open. It's just a matter of uh, moving it around a little bit, using your hand to move it around a little bit. Now, uh, yeah. So once once it's done, the cabinet opens or whatever you have opens, and uh, 
the unit cannot be reset until you reapply power. And that's not my own specification, that's the specification of the module itself. But it's a neat little unit anyway, it's, it's, it's uh, about the size of the palm of your hand and it can be mounted using uh, two-sided, uh, double-sided tape or uh, hot glue to whatever fixture you want. And yeah, so as long as uh, no one's pulling at wires, and I know that can be a problem in uh, in escape rooms, you can't count on your customer to be, uh, you know, uh, reliant to not mess with your stuff. But, um, you know, you can easily hide these wires and, uh, and yeah, just you can uh, screw, uh, screw make, a, make a hole into something and and file the wire through it. So it's that simple. Very easy, a neat little thing. Uh, I might uh, use this in one of my props coming up, but I really just bought this kind of for fun to see what I end up doing with it, and I'm sure I'm going to do a lot with it down the road. But I thought, um, I'm hope I hope you found it cool because I think it's really, really neat. Take care, and thanks again for watching, everyone.